Hi, my name is John Cornicello, and I am here to help you learn about and understand studio lighting. Today I am talking about using mirrorless cameras in the studio with external flash units. So here's the situation. You are working in a photo studio using studio flash units with your mirrorless camera. You take your flash meter reading and you set your camera to give the proper exposure when the flash is fire. That might be something like ISO 100, shutter speed 1 over 200, and an aperture of f8. You raise your camera to your eye, look through the viewfinder, or in this simulation look at the screen on the back of the camera and... nothing. This viewfinder and screen are dark, you can't see your model. This can also apply to DSLR cameras in live view mode in the same type of studio situations. If you take the photo, it gets properly exposed and you see it fine on the back of the camera. And then it goes dark again. Not the easiest way to work in the studio, but there is a quick fix in the camera's settings menu. I am most familiar with Canon cameras, so we'll use the Canon menus here, but there are similar settings for other brands of cameras. I will list the menu items for some of those at the end. Let's start with a basic lesson about SLR or single lens reflex cameras and mirrorless cameras. With an SLR you are looking directly at the scene in front of you via a mirror and prism system. If the scene is bright, you see a bright image in the viewfinder. If the scene is dark, you see a dark image. It has nothing to do with the exposure settings such as ISO, shutter speed, and aperture, which will have no effect on what you see unless you use the depth of field preview button, and that will just stop down the lens and darken the view so you can see what might be in focus. Mirrorless cameras don't have the prism and mirror system. Instead, they have a miniature video screen in the viewfinder that shows you what the image sensor sees. By default, most mirrorless cameras are set up to show you what the image will look like as captured with the exposure settings on the camera. That is, they simulate the exposure so you can preview it before taking the actual photo. If you have a bright scene and you set the camera to underexpose it, you will see the underexposed preview in the finder. A dark scene with the camera set to overexpose, you will see the overexposed preview. This is one of the benefits of using a mirrorless camera. And it works great in most situations, but not in the studio when using external studio strobe flashes. What is happening in the studio is that your light levels are much lower than what will be recorded when the flash fires. So back to the exposure settings of ISO 100, 1 over 200 second at f8 in manual exposure mode. With an SLR camera that is no problem. If there is light in the studio, such as the modeling lights on your flash, you will see an image in the viewfinder. But with a mirrorless camera simulating exposure, the viewfinder is going to be dark. The viewfinder has no way of knowing about the external flash units and how bright they will be when they fire. So it just shows you the low ambient light levels and you cannot see your subject in the viewfinder. What you need to do is turn off the exposure simulation in the viewfinder. That will brighten up the viewfinder so you can see the scene in front of you. On Canon cameras, this feature is conveniently named exposure simulation. You can go into your menu system, go to the camera icon menus and look for that setting. On the EOS M5, it is on the first page of the camera menus. On the EOS R that I am using here, it is on the third page. Go to that menu item, select it, and set it to disable, and now you can see through the viewfinder in the studio. This is a setting that I use very often as I move from daylight or other continuous light situations where I want simulation turned on, to the studio flash situations where I want it turned off. So I have added this menu to my customized personal menu so it is quickly available. Other camera systems have similar options, but much more confusing names. As of this recording, I believe that on Nikon it is found under Custom Settings, D, Shooting Display, D8, Apply Settings to Live View, and set it to On or Off. On Sony, look for Live View Display and turn it off. On Fuji, look for Screen Configuration Setup, then Exposure Preview in Manual Mode, and turn that off. If these don't work, check your user manual or ask in camera-specific forums about how to disable exposure simulation when using external studio flash. I hope this helps clear up some viewfinder issues with studio flash. Again, this is John Cornicello, and I encourage you to go out and light up the world. Thanks.